Right, today I'm going to carry on with fitting these battery pods or making these pods. Uh, I had a suggestion from somebody at work who said that I need to um, say what I'm actually doing, which I thought was pretty obvious, but apparently not. So these, these tubes are going to fit underneath the sub. They attach to these uh, mounting brackets here, one on either side, and they're the bat battery pods, so they're obviously going to contain um, a number of, number of lead-acid batteries which will provide the electrical power for the boat and also provide the ballast or a certain amount of ballast. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I've got the, these uh, angle brackets the same that I used for there. I'm just going to do that same on the other side on the actual end cap itself. But first of all, I'm just going to make something to hold the, the battery tray in and I'm going to keep this really simple. Is I've just made this little piece. Difficult to see. Straightforward piece of piece of angle. That's just going to fit on there, and then the tray will slide in under that. Straightforward. That's actually exactly how it's done on the K K three hundred and fifty plans. Should be easy enough. messed it up a bit here uh, I couldn't see properly and I went off target it went all a bit wiggly so I've had to grind just this little piece off and I've just put these two just ground in two little lines give me something to follow it's only a, it's only a two or three inches should be okay just got to fix that there it hasn't got the wiggles now <coughs> Shut that up. right I'm gonna wait for that to cool down give it a coat of paint if there's this end of coat of paint now. Got to make something to fit here, just to bolt that down. That should be easy enough. Got to make the next step is to make some tabs. I think all it needs is two, it's just like a piece of stainless angle there. One on the other side, perhaps four all the way around to bolt that on. I'll have to have a look, see what I've got. And the next job also is to put the, some, I'm gonna attach some pieces of wood at, at the bottom, but make some skids, wooden skids that fit on the bottom of them. Should be easy enough to see what metal I've got. Got loads of stuff, just never got the bit you want, isn't it? It's always the way. So that's both ends on now, that, that end and that end. Um, so what I've got to do, I've got a few things to do on this now. I've got to obviously make a little little piece to fit that. I actually haven't got any 20 mil steel, 20 by five probably. So can't do that. I want to put the, the brackets that are going to hold the end cap on. I'm going to make those out of stainless angle and I haven't got any angle so that's that out the window and I also need to make the skids or skid that goes on the bottom and I'm going to make that out of 100 mil channel and again I haven't got even, even got any of that so um, that's about it you see the battery pods on Jody B this is how I did these there's the end caps and I've, I put these with bolts in but really it was quite a rigmarole to, um, to machine those it's actually not really necessary, I don't think. Those, I think the external clamp things will work just as well. But this is what 
these pipes here, this one and this one, they carry the power through into the hull and those are pressure proof penetrators that I made. And the one at the, the front there, that's um, the vent, so you can open that from inside the hull. But that was an awful lot of extra work to do. And I'm trying to keep this, this boat simple and get it done as quick as I can anyway. So I'm just going to put a vent on, I think, and, and blue globe it through. Who knows? Wait. Wait. Okay. Useless. Seeing as I've run out of material, metal, I can't really do anything else. So I'm going to have to clean the saw. Mm -hmm.